Okay, uh, today we are going to discuss about the virtual work principle. This principle is a very powerful tool when solving the static structural problems, especially uh, statically indeterminate problems in structural mechanics. Okay, so then uh, in simply we can say this uh, principle if the structural system if you take the structure system is in equilibrium condition okay, that means all the forces acting on the structure system is uh, balanced if you can give virtual displacement to the system if you give a virtual displacement to the system the summation of all the work done by external forces should be equal to zero that is the meaning of this uh, virtual work principle then let's see how this principle can use to solve the static structure problem in mechanics okay let's move to the today's lecture okay uh, today's topic is the principle of virtual work uh, it's a method of uh, solving uh, it's a powerful method of solving uh, static structure problem the including statically indeterminate problems okay uh, first of all, let's uh, define the work of a force. Work of a force. How we define the work of a force? Okay. Let's take uh, object is moving on a, this kind of a path. Let's take uh, this kind of object moving on this kind of path. S, the path S due to act of f force due to act of f force it is moving on s path let's uh, take the position coordinate position vector let's take a certain uh, time the t is equal t the position vector is r okay then after dt time after dt time let's take that is moving the position vector let's take r dash okay then this uh, vector we can define dr dr vector then the angle between these two, let's take it as theta. So then the du, the work of a force in during this uh, dt period, du is equal f dot dr, f dot dr. Okay. Then this one we can uh, simply state, let's take this arc length as the ds f dot ds into cos theta it is the uh, work of a force in this way we can define the work of a force okay in simply we can say the distance into force along that direction we can call it as a work okay then the work of a couple moment how we define the work of a couple moment work of a couple moment okay next we are going to define the work of a couple moment let's take a certain object the couple moment is acting on this object couple moment is acting on, on this object f okay then due to act of this uh, couple moment Let's take uh, it produce uh, in a dt time. In a dt time, let's take it moves. Uh, it produce the this kind of uh, rotations. Let's take uh, this angle as the d theta. Okay. Then the uh, this one, the distance in between these two forces is given as r. Okay. So then the du. 
the work done by certain uh, one force we can write if the distance it move this distance is equal r divided by 2 into uh, d theta r divided by 2 into d theta is the work done by a, a one force there's a two forces into and the du is equal f into r into d theta so then the f into r we can call it as a moment du is equal moment into d theta this is the work done by a couple moment work done by a couple moment this is the work of a uh, force and this is the work of a uh, couple moment okay then i am going to obtain an important uh, equation expression uh, explaining the virtual law principle okay explaining the virtual law principle of virtual law for a particle under the equilibrium force system let's take a certain uh, force system let's say let's take the particle then uh, equilibrium force is system is apply on this uh, particle let's take f1 f2 f3 f3 that mean sigma if uh, i i is equal uh, sorry, uh, 1 to n i x uh, equal to 0 and also the sigma i is equal 1 to n f y i is equal to 0 that means uh, this uh, force system in equilibrium condition okay then uh, we can write okay then this uh, particle in uh, equilibrium condition then we are given the virtual displacement for this particle okay that means uh, due to this balance force system that cannot move but we are given the virtual okay that is not real that we are given the virtual displacement for this object okay let's take we are given this kind of virtual displacement for this object Okay, let's take this uh, distance as the delta r. Okay, delta r. Okay, vector delta r. Okay, then uh, how to uh, find the work done for this uh, system because of these uh, forces? We are given the virtual displacement. How to calculate the work done? And the uh, because of this uh, delta r, small. Uh, movement displacement let's take the work done by the uh, external forces delta d okay work done that is equal to sigma f vector dot delta r okay then uh, we can write uh, this one delta u is equal sigma f x i plus f y j plus f z k dot delta x i plus delta y j plus delta z k vector okay then delta u is equal delta u is equal the you can see the dot product the i i then i j multiplication is equal to zero then the i k multiplication is equal to zero j k multiplication also equal to zero so then we can write this equation sigma uh, 
i dot i is equal to scale fx delta x plus fy delta y plus fz delta z okay then delta u is equal sigma fx uh, for each and every force we are using the summation delta x okay the multiplication yeah plus sorry sigma fy into delta y plus sigma f z delta z okay then what can you say about this uh, sigma fx so i i forget to write that one so in the sigma i is equal 1 to n if uh, z direction i is also equal to 0 because three dimensional force system okay three dimensional force system okay so then uh, what can you say about these things these are equal to zero these are equal to zero okay then uh, we can write then we can write delta u is equal to zero the very important uh, the uh, result we came delta u is equal to zero that means if the particle in equilibrium condition if the particle in equilibrium condition if you give virtual displacement to the particle in that situation the summation of all the work done by the external forces acting on the particle is equal to zero okay that is the virtual work principle uh, for a particle that is why we are uh, that is how we are defining virtual work principle for a particle okay okay same uh, principle we can apply for the system of body source system of body source okay principle of virtual work for system of body the previously we discussed uh, principle of virtual work for a particle okay then uh, this one we can state in this way a system system of uh, connected rigid bodies bodies is in equilibrium is in equilibrium is in equilibrium provided the virtual provided the virtual displacement virtual uh, work virtual work done by all the external forces and couple moment acting on the system is zero for each each independent then this is the principle of virtual work for system of bodies okay system of bodies the previously we discussed uh, principle of virtual work for a particle okay particle so then the same principle we can apply for the system of bodies but here we are not going to derive this equation the system of uh, connected rigid bodies 
in a equilibrium provided the virtual work done by all the external forces and couple acting on the system is zero for each independent virtual displacement of the system okay that means if the interconnected bodies is a cold system if the system in equilibrium condition that means all the forces acting on the system is balanced okay in that situation if we give certain displacement for the system okay virtual displacement for the system because it's a virtual because all the forces are in balance that cannot move but we are given the virtual displacement in that situation all the work done by external forces the summation of all the work done by external forces should equal to zero okay then uh, when getting the summation the sign is very important if the force and the displacement acting same direction we are taken at the positive work if uh, force and displacement in opposite direction we are taken as negative okay that is very important all the uh, summation of this uh, work should equal to zero okay let's understand this one through the example okay uh, let's understand this uh, virtual work principle how it can apply to solve the static structural uh, problem the determine in this example determine the angle theta this is the angle theta for equilibrium of a two member linkage shown in the figure each member has the mass of 10 kg okay this is a, a system given the system of bodies in equilibrium condition equilibrium condition then we want to determine the theta then we are going to use the virtual work principle to determine theta let's see how we can use the virtual work principle to determine the uh, theta okay the in the virtual work principle the first of all the first step we want to draw the uh, called the free body diagram free body diagram for this system okay indicating all the forces okay, i will draw the free body diagram for this system okay this is the linkage then the uh, marks okay then uh, that is uh, equal to 98.1 one newton like that 98.1 uh, newton w is equal so w is equal yeah w is equal so then uh, let's take this one as the l length of uh, that is given l is equal one meter so then uh, at this point uh, only vertical reaction is acting vertical reaction is acting let's take the rc uh, then uh, this force is equal to f is equal uh, 25 then uh, at this point it's a fixed uh, pin pin support point let's take the r a y in this direction r a x then this is the free body diagram for this system this is the free body diagram for this system okay then we are given this uh, system in equilibrium condition then we are given the virtual displacement for the system okay then when we are given the virtual displacement for the system we have to ensure how the system how other connected bodies are move with our virtual displacement okay for example if we take this c point along this direction that way we are going to do the uh, virtual displacement that means what happened to this in uh, connected bodies this may lift in this kind of manner and also this one move in this way okay then this is the uh, virtual displacement we are given 20 f is equal to 20. this is the virtual displacement let's take uh, this one as the uh, small displacement delta l okay delta l delta l okay then you can see uh, this midpoint has lifted by certain amount in the symmetry that uh, 
the amount of lifting of this uh, midpoint is equal okay. this kind of midpoint that means let's take this uh, movement of the midpoint as the delta h okay movement of the midpoint of the uh, bar as delta h then you can see then uh, in this way we can give the virtual displacement for the uh, equilibrium system so then what are the forces which forces doing the work when giving this uh, virtual displacement for the system which forces doing the work okay if rc there's no any uh, movement associated with the rc and also the ray rx there's no movement associated with it but uh, these w forces and also the f forces having the displacement associated with this movement so that only these forces f w forces doing the work okay that means according to the virtual principle the work done by these external forces should be equal to zero according to the virtual principle according to the virtual principle the virtual work uh, principle the what are the work done total work let's take uh, delta u that is equal to zero what are the work done the here f into f into uh, delta u that is positive because uh, this movement is this uh, displacement is same with the uh, force acting direction so that we are taken as the positive okay but in this situation you can see this movement is negative that means this force is uh, uh, the, the displacement is opposite to the direction of the w so that we are taken as the negative work okay so that uh, uh, work done the delta h into the, there's a two uh, w's two w that means the sum is uh, addition of these two is equal to zero it means zero f into delta l minus the two w delta h is equal to zero according to the virtual of principle okay okay then we have obtained an expression obtain an expression according to the virtual of principle then using this uh, expression we want to derive angle theta equilibrium position angle theta okay that means we want to write these what are these if we cannot write it's a certain value the constant values the delta and delta l and delta h using the theta okay then we can obtain the expression for the theta okay that means use uh, to this equation we have to include theta then we can by making uh, theta into subject we can obtain an expression for the theta so then how we can include theta in this equation the delta l how we can write the delta l okay if we take this one as the l let's take this one as the l l we can write l is equal Uh, let's take uh, this uh, this uh, length as the a simple a two a cos theta two a cos theta okay then how to calculate the delta l that mean uh, the yeah. I'll write that one the dl over d theta if we take the dl over d theta is equal minus 2a sin theta the dl is equal minus 2a sin theta d theta delta l is equal minus 2a sin theta delta theta okay that mean we have obtained the variation of uh, 
that means the delta l we are we have a uh, relate with the variation of delta theta if we vary that means uh, this movement we are obtaining this delta l movement we are obtaining by varying the theta okay by varying this uh, angle by varying this angle we can obtain this this much of delta l that means we are relating delta l with the delta theta delta l with the delta theta that means we are writing this delta l that means this uh, delta l using the theta okay same way we can write uh, delta h same way we can write the delta h if we take uh, this height as the h this height as the h this height as the h h is equal a divided by 2 sin theta a divided by 2 sin theta then we can write the dh divided by d theta is equal a divided by 2 cos theta same way we can obtain the delta h is equal a divided by 2 cos theta delta theta okay that means we obtain this delta h as the function of theta as the function of theta because we are going to de uh, determine the theta okay theta so then you can you can see in this equation by substituting this uh, delta h and delta l we are having the equation from theta then by making the theta into subject we can derive an expression okay that is the uh, thing we are going to do okay then i am going to substitute oh. okay then uh, before going to substitute that one you can see this uh, this is negative negative what it means the negative what it means if we increase the delta theta this one decreases if we decrease the delta theta this one increases you can see if we increase this one this one moves in this direction if we uh, decrease this one decrease means we are taken this direction this one increases but in here if we increase this one this one also increases if we decrease this one this one also decreases that means this sign came due to the uh, opposite the, the sign says this uh, change of delta theta is opposite to the delta L. okay so forget about that one in here we are substituting only the magnitude okay we are interesting about the magnitude of the uh, movement because we already substituted the sign okay we wanted the uh, we want the displacement associated with the force okay we are substituting only the magnitude of the uh, displacement because we have already substituted the sign of the work okay so then i'm going to substitute that one so then uh, zero is equal f f into delta L. so we are not going to substitute the sign 2a sin theta delta theta here it is minus 2w delta h a divided by 2 cos theta delta theta okay in this equation in this equation we can cut the a a we can cut and also the delta theta also we can cut okay then finally we are remaining 0 2 f uh, sin theta let's take uh, equal equal w cos theta w cos theta in this equation we are we want to uh, make uh, theta into subject so i'm going to divide the entire equation by cos theta then tan theta is equal w divided by 2a then we can obtain the expression for the theta theta is equal tan inverse w divided by 2f w divided by 2f okay 
in this way we can obtain in this way we can obtain uh, Uh, expression for the theta then if we can find the theta that is equal at an inverse uh, w what is w 98.5 divided by 2 into f 25 you will get the answer 63.087 degree this is how we are use uh, virtual work principle to solve this kind of static structural problem in mechanics okay but then i will explain uh, as a summary, according to the virtual work principle, we can write this equation. That means all the external work done by the external forces is equal to zero. When uh, adding this uh, all the work, the sign is very important. The sign is very important. Mean what is the sign? If the movement is along with the force acting direction, we are taken as the positive. If the movement is opposite to the force acting direction, we are taken as the negative. Okay, we have already uh, subtracted the sign in this equation. Then uh, when uh, then if you are finding a certain uh, parameter we have to relate this parameter with this movement virtual displacement okay virtual displacement this is how we are relating the this uh, movement with the uh, required parameter okay then in that way we can find the uh, unknown parameters okay let's understand uh, further this uh, to another example okay then the second example we are going to discuss the two pin jointed bars are held on a frictionless plane by a rope as shown in the figure. Using the virtual work principle, find the tension T uh, in the rope in terms of the load W and the angle theta. Okay. This is the two bar which is connected the frictionless uh, flow and the roller supports. And the uh, W uh, weight uh, force is applied to this rope. Okay. Then this uh, uh, we want to determine this uh, angle also given. This angle also given. We want to determine the tension developed in the rope. Okay. So then uh, same way we first of all we want to draw the uh, free body diagram for the system. Okay. So I will draw the free body diagram for this system. Indicating all the forces, we have to indicate all the forces. So in here only R A, here R B, T T. In here it is the W setting. Okay. Then uh, we, are, uh, we want to give the virtual displacement for the system. Then we have to, when we are giving the virtual displacement to the system, we want to uh, know how other connected bodies are move with the virtual displacement. Okay. Then, for example, if we uh, one of the possible way of giving the virtual displacement for the system, uh, we can uh, move this point in downward direction this way okay okay the t t then you can see this uh, has moved by a distance that is take as the delta h okay then uh, if we take the one uh, a T force has moved by a distance uh, in a horizontal movement. Let's take it as the delta L, delta X. Okay. So then uh, only uh, these uh, forces doing the work. This is uh, R A, R B. Only these uh, forces doing the work. That means the W and the T forces doing the work. Okay. W and T forces doing the work. So then, uh, according to the virtual work principle, we can write this expression. Okay. According to the virtual work principle, we can write this expression. The total uh, work done due to this small virtual displacement is equal to zero. 
that mean uh, w into uh, delta h that mean i'm taking the magnitude i'm taking the magnitude okay so i'll write this one okay uh, that means uh, that is positive the work done is positive because the uh, force acting direction and the displacement uh, of this point same direction so that we are taken as a positive but uh, this one is negative because the there is moving in horizontally uh, out uh, sorry opposite direction to the force it's been the delta l delta l into the t there's a two forces as z equal to zero okay delta l type that means uh, zero is equal zero is equal w delta h uh, minus the two uh, delta sorry uh, delta here yeah, delta h two delta l into l okay then if you can write this uh, delta l delta l using the known uh, given uh, parameters given parameters you can derive an expression for the t and uh, derive an expression for the sorry here it is uh, here it is t no yeah t here is t so then if you can uh, write this uh, delta h and delta l using the known uh, parameters we can uh, obtain an expression for the t okay then we are going to write this delta uh, h and delta l using the known parameters delta h this uh, vertical height let's take it as the h delta h is equal this h sorry uh, h is equal uh, this uh, l this l uh, l uh, this angle what is that angle this angle is given this angle is given l uh, cos theta the dh over d theta is equal minus sin theta so that uh, delta h is equal minus l sin theta delta theta okay okay then we can write the uh, l l we can write uh, here uh, you may confuse with this one i will write this uh, and uh, a let's take this uh, length of the bar as the a a divided by 2 sin theta a divided by 2 sin theta for one uh, l value let's take this, uh, this one as the l okay then the d l over d theta is equal uh, a divided by 2 cos theta then the dl we can write a divided by 2 cos theta d theta delta l is equal a divided by 2 cos theta delta theta so then i am going to uh, substitute these uh, values in this equation then we can easily uh, obtain expression for the t the objective is to obtain the expression for the t okay so then uh, I'm going to substitute uh, this in this equation. Zero is equal W uh, delta H L sine theta delta theta minus two into T into delta L A divided by two cos theta delta theta in this equation uh, we can easily uh, cut the delta theta here uh, the, let's take uh, this one as uh, a no we have put the a you also a okay yeah. so then you can cut this uh, delta theta and a also you can cut so we are remaining the zero is equal w uh, 
sin theta minus t cos theta. Okay, you can write this one this way. So by making uh, t into subject, t is equal w tan theta. This is how we are using this uh, virtual principle to solve uh, uh, static structural problems. Okay, thank you.